Prop 33 is the latest attempt to expand rent control in California. If Prop 33 passes, it would repeal what's called the Costa-Hawkins Act. That's a state law that restricts city and county governments from enacting certain rent control ordinances. Under Costa-Hawkins, local governments can't impose rent controls on single-family homes, any housing built since February of 1995, or the price of rent for new renters moving in. If Prop 33 passes, all three of these limits disappear. Local governments could decide whether they want to enact tougher rent controls or not. If they do enact more rent control measures, that could lower rents and allow people to move homes less often. But state analysts point out some landlords may decide to sell their investment properties, leading to fewer homes available for rent, which is a drag on the market. It could also drag down the home values of rental properties, slightly reducing the property taxes paid to local governments and public schools. The backers of Prop 33 tried before to do this exact same thing back in 2018. It failed with 59% of voters saying no. Voters also rejected another less intensive rent control expansion in 2020 by a similar margin. A yes vote on Prop 33 allows local governments to impose more kinds of rent control. A no vote keeps rent control restrictions the way they are now, handing the proponents their third defeat. Brandon, thank you. Have more questions? Send them to us right now. Head over to abc10.com slash vote and you'll find the survey to tell us what else you'd like to know about voting and the elections. Coming up on ABC 10 News at 11, the Biden administration.